Hey, Christina. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, welcome to Oregon Zoo Facebook Live. Today we're going to take Nolina the porcupine on a walk. Um, she's already started without us, so we're going to walk and talk. <laughs> um, we just wanted to um, let you know at the end, um, you can check out the link that has uh, porcupine activities to check out. And if you want to support the zoo, um, go to OregonZoo.org slash donate, and we're happy to um, be supported by you and thanks for watching. Um, so this is uh, Nolina. Uh, she's an African Cape porcupine. She's about 15 years old and um, we take them for walks every day and so we're going to take you on a little walk uh, to show you some of her animal friends that she normally goes to visit. So uh, come on Nolina, let's walk and feel free to ask any questions uh, as we're walking or stopping. Um, about the porcupines and I'll be happy to answer those. So Christina, what part of the zoo are we in right now? Uh, right now we're in the Africa area. So the porcupines uh, live over here in Africa. Uh, usually take turns walking Sharpie and Nolina. This is Nolina. She really likes to go visit the giraffe and uh, the Debraza monkeys, which are also African animals. So we're gonna head towards the giraffes right now. So Everly and Ella are asking, why does she have such long quills? Um, Everly and Ella, those quills are really long because they help protect her. Oh, just like that. If she gets startled or feels threatened, she'll raise her quills up like that. Uh, and then if she feels really threatened, she'll use those quills to charge into you or whoever might be <laughs> threatening her, like a lion or a hyena or uh, an animal she might come across in, uh, in the wild. Dawson and Grady are asking, how long are her quills? Oh gosh, they vary, uh, uh, thanks Dawson and Grady. Um, they vary from all different sizes. You can see the ones on her head um, are long and thin and soft, but the ones on her back can be, you know, anywhere from two feet long to maybe just an inch long. So uh, there's the long ones that kind of uh, hang out there, but the ones in the back are much shorter and those are the ones she would use uh, to poke if she needed to, she would stand those up. Uh, and poke with them. So they're all different sizes really depending on where on her body uh, they are. Eden is asking, has she ever poked you? Eden, um, no, luckily she has not. Um, I've worked with her for the past uh, nine years since she came to the zoo and so we have a really good relationship and I know her behavior uh, really well so I know when she's mad or happy or uh, anxious or threatened so I just am really careful and as long as she's got food she's usually more interested in that than me so luckily no I have not been poked <laughs> so Michelle is or uh, yeah Michelle's asking does she shoot her quills that is actually a great question a lot of people ask that that's the most commonly asked question I get and no they do not shoot their quills. Uh, it's a common misconception, but they don't. They just kind of lift them up and charge backwards. So Debbie's asking, what is Nolina eating? Um, Debbie, today we have uh, carrots, parsnips, um, apples. Um, she had some corn earlier. Uh, they generally get um, a monkey biscuit, a leaf eating monkey biscuit at the zoo. Um, sometimes green beans, beets, a whole variety of uh, vegetables like roots and tubers was what they mostly eat in the wild. So similar to that, but she loves apples and corn. That's her favorite. So Chris is going to try to stump you here. Uh oh. How many quills does Nolina have? <laughs> Chris, you should come to the zoo when it reopens and count them for me. <laughs> I am not sure. They say that uh, the North American porcupines have about 30,000 but I'm not sure if the African ones have the same amount, but we can guess it's probably close, but you're welcome to come count them for me. <laughs> um, Cameron's asking, what is this stick with the ball on it that you have? Oh, uh, Cameron, this is my target. So it just helps Nolina find where the food is. Sometimes she can't um, see it or uh, might not know where to go to it. So it's just a way to direct her uh, where I need her to go and remind her what direction we're going. So it's just called a target stick and we use it a lot with animal training to direct the animals. Oops, so like... Madeline, Garrett, and Caden are asking about porcupine's lifespan. How long do they live? 
Uh, that was a lot of names. Yeah. I, I got Caden. Madeline, Garrett, and Caden. Uh, Madeline, Garrett, and Caden. Uh, porcupines can live about uh, up to 20 years in a zoo, but more like 10, uh, probably in the wild. Nalina's 15, so she's starting to get up there, but um, some other species of porcupine live up to 30 years old, so um, it's pretty cool that they can live such a long time for a, a rodent. Aaron's okay, asking how many babies they have, and, and also, what do you call a baby porcupine? Um, it was Aaron? Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron, they usually have, uh, these, this species of porcupine usually has one to three uh, babies at a time, but usually just one, and they're called porcupets. Little porcupet. Laura's asking if they can climb. These guys, these African porcupines, uh, cannot climb. Uh, but the porcupines you might see around here do live in trees. So that's kind of the difference between these African porcupines and the North American porcupines. Camille's asking how big they are. Can you tell us how much Nolina weighs? Uh, Camille, Nolina weighs 42 pounds. <laughs> Ezra's asking why are the quills striped, the big ones? Ezra, that's a wonderful question. Um, they're striped because it looks really cool and maybe it has, has some uh, purpose for camouflage when they're out uh, in the grasses and you know, savannas to uh, hide maybe. So Joanne and a couple of other people have asked where, uh, where does this species come from? So the Cape porcupine um, comes from uh, Central and Southern Africa. Uh, so pretty much all of Central and South Africa, except for the deserts and the swamps, uh, these porcupines are pretty common. So uh, they're kind of all over the place there. So who do we have over here? We have somebody who looks a little kind of interested in Nolina. It looks like Butters the giraffe is quite interested. He usually comes over uh, when she takes her walk. Uh, sometimes Desi will come too, um, but they usually come over and kind of stare at her for a little while. and trying to figure out what she is. How about Nolina? Does she, is she interested in the giraffes? I think Nolina just likes food. That is her primary <laughs> motivation. <laughs> Mandy's asking, do you pet Nolina ever? Generally, no. She doesn't like to be petted. Um, although the quills around her head and on the side of her body are pretty soft. Um, and her belly is uh, pretty soft but generally they don't really like to be touched. We do get them used to touching different parts of their body just for uh, medical uh, reasons in case they need to um, like get a shot, then they're used to being touched. So we do that, but they don't really like to be petted. Logan's asking what are porcupine predators? Name, tell us some of the animals that would try to catch one of these porcupines. Sure, Logan, uh, porcupine predators would be um, a hyena, a, a leopard, uh, sometimes a python, or maybe a large bird of prey, an owl. Um, very rarely it would be lions. Uh, lions will only go for a porcupine if they're super desperate and there's nothing else around to eat. Um, and then also just humans. Sometimes porcupines can be big agricultural pests and they'll eat farmers' crops and so the farmers get mad and might kill them because they're eating their crops. So, yeah. So Logan is asking, about the different species of porcupine. Can you tell us some of the, about the other types of porcupines in the uh, world? Yeah, who was that? Uh, that was Logan. Logan, um, yeah, Logan, there's 23 different species of porcupines. So there's, this is the Cape, African Cape porcupine. There's African crested porcupine. There's um, the North American porcupine that you might find in Oregon or Washington. Um, there's also, uh, a Brazilian prehensile-tailed porcupine. Uh, there's all there. There's a wait. An Indian porcupine. Gosh, there's so many of them, um, and they're all uh, pretty cool and different. So check out all the different kinds of porcupines if you have time. Peggy's asking, how old is Nolina? Uh, Nolina is 15 years old. Looks like the monkeys are hiding, but sometimes the monkeys will come and check her out as well. There you go. So can you tell us, Christina, a little bit about the difference between Nolina and the porcupines that live in North America? Um, sure, so uh, Nolina is an African porcupine and so they normally live on the ground. 
Um, and the North American porcupines live in the trees, so you might find them uh, in a tree. And the North American porcupines are much smaller. Uh, the African ones uh, are quite a bit larger. They're the third largest rodent uh, after the capybara and the beaver. Um, so they also uh, do not have barbed quills. Some of the other porcupines do have barbed quills, but these, uh, this species does not. Um, so they have quite a few uh, differences, and their quills are much longer. The North American porcupines have very short quills. Misha's asking what her favorite snack is. Misha, she loves corn on the cob and apples. I missed who asked this question, but the question was, do her quills grow like hair? Uh, yes, they do. That's a, a good question as well. So um, these quills, they're made of keratin, which is the same thing our hair and nails are made out of. And so sometimes they'll shake and one will just fall out and then that will grow back uh, just like our hair would. Let's try going downstairs. So Christina, what family of mammals are porcupines in? What, what, uh, what, what are they? Porcupines are rodents, so just like a beaver or a rat or a mouse, um, they are rodents, so they like to chew. They have those big uh, front teeth, uh, just like a beaver would chew wood. These guys do that as well. We give them lots of wood uh, logs to chew, and they chew the bark off. Um, and they got to keep chewing to keep those teeth worn down, just like a, a rat or beaver would. Brian is asking, <clears throat> does Nolina miss the 80s and does she use Aquanet? Uh, that was Ryan? Brian, yeah. Brian? Yeah. Oh, Brian. Um, I would say she, since she wasn't born in the 80s, she doesn't remember them. Uh, and she doesn't use Aquanet. She prefers another brand of hairspray. Debbie wants to know <clears throat> if porcupines can swim. Uh, porcupines can swim. I don't know if they like to, but if they need to, uh, they are actually good swimmers if they uh, end up having to swim, apparently. <laughs> so where are we now? Uh, so now we've made it over to uh, the giraffe uh, and uh, hoofstock area. So we've got our Bontabak watching, uh, our new baby hornbill, Mabel. Uh, and then sometimes the giraffe will wander over here uh, as well to get a closer look because they can get a little closer here than they can on the other side. We had a question of, about whether these quills have poison on them. Oh, that is a good one as well. A lot of people ask that. So no, they do not have poison. Um, they're just quills, just like hair. Um, so there's nothing poisonous or uh, dangerous other than they're sharp, really, about them. So Carol is asking if she loses a quill, will it grow back? Yes, it, Carol, it will grow back. Just like our hair, if it falls out, like when we brush our hair, um, it grows right back. There you go. So Mike might have missed this earlier. Does, does Nolina have good vision? Mike, yes. Uh, she does have pretty good vision and a good sense of smell. So Emmett is asking, is this the only porcupine here? Emmett, no. Um, there's a porcupine and then her mate, Sharpie, that lives with her. But we also have um, a prehensile-tailed porcupine. And I think that's the only other type. We have the two different species here at the zoo. Gavin is asking if he can cuddle no Nolina. Gavin, I wish I could cuddle Nolina, but no, you can't cuddle Nolina. <laughs> So what? Stacy is asking in what situation they would feel threatened and start to use their, their defense mechanism. So let's say they were startled or they felt like you were going to attack them or try to hurt them or eat them. Let's say you were a, um, a predator trying to eat them or if they're sometimes if they're just sleeping um, and if I would walk into the exhibit uh, to put something in there they might get startled because they're uh, assessing what's going on so uh, so you can see they'll raise their quills um, sometimes just as a warning and then they'll before they attack you though they will uh, do some grunting noises and they'll stomp their feet and they'll um, put their quills out and they also have a really cool thing um, in the back 
Not sure if you can see in the back there, they have a little set of rattling quills. So they'll, those are hollow short quills and they'll rattle those to make a rattling sound like a rattlesnake um, to try to warn uh, whoever to not approach and that if you keep coming, I'm gonna turn around and charge you and poke you. Um, Kelvin's asking if porcupines are social or solitary. Uh, Kelvin? Yeah. Kelvin, yes, uh, they are uh, social. They do forage um, individually, so they'll go and eat stuff around by themselves, but they do live together. They live in mated pairs, um, and then they'll have uh, the little porcupets in a burrow together, and they'll kind of hang out. But usually it's just mated pairs, so like uh, a male and a female together, and maybe some of their babies. And we'll take this one last question here Ooh, from, from Bailey, who's asking, can porcupines dig? Oh, yes, uh, Bailey, yeah. they can dig, um, and they're pretty good diggers. They can dig a pretty good hole. These guys are kind of couch potatoes, so they don't dig too much. They dig sometimes, but um, they seem to get all their exercise on their walks. Um, but some other porcupines I've taken care of um, have dug great big holes overnight, and the next day you got to fill it back in so I, I know they're pretty good diggers and they also dig to dig uh, burrows uh, to live in so um, they are very good diggers um, so it looks like uh, that was our last question um, thanks everyone for joining us for Facebook live uh, and going on a walk with Nolina uh, just a reminder if you want to check out the link uh, at the bottom uh, for the porcupine activities and if you want to post any uh, pictures uh, I believe it's hashtag Oregon Zoo um, to do that. And uh, if you want to support the zoo again, uh, it's OregonZoo.org slash donate. And we thank you so much uh, for your support. Thanks, Christina. You're welcome.